There we go. How is everybody this morning? Hope everybody is doing fine. Trying to get my pop-out chats working again. <clears throat> Once I do, we'll bring up the wiki and we'll get started. Feel free to click on that go to channel button. I got coffee brewing in the background. There we go. Excellent. Um, let's see here. I don't know if I have the process available to run the background music today. My physical memory is pushing 95% already. My CPU usage is pushing 95-100%. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to run the background music. It's using so much CPU. Split Firefox. See if I can kill some processes. Now that gets me down to free of a bunch more by killing the bots, but I really don't want to kill the bots. Alright, so we'll just run with that. Alright, um, let's unmute Discord. Welcome to those who are in Discord this morning. Uh, it's good to have you, if anybody's in there. Let's um, take the splash screen down. i am got my little Movember thing up there. Um, let's take a quick look and see how I did for Movember before we get started. Or how Team DDO is doing for Movember. Looks like Discord is restarting. Get Movember updated at the end of the month. Make sure that that's going good properly. Um, I 
the team. No, oh, Amanda's up to 533. Oh. So Jerry's up to 2475. Let's edit these. Faye is up to 533. Everybody else is at the same place. I think it's just over 3,000. Actually, you know, next next year I'll I'll make some adjustments here. I'll have a team DDO that has a an amount split as well. So flat out donation to Team DDO, split to DD, Team DDO, and then individual members. I like that. But I'll do that next year. I got a couple of days left in November. I am behind on updating my moves. I will have to take care of that after the stream today. Excellent. Okay, eighteen thousand eleven dollars and seventy seven cents. Make sure my chat's working. There we go. So I think I'm going to do something a little different today. Usually I start the stream with a rundown of what's happened in recent changes since our last stream. Today, I don't want to spend time on that. Instead, I want to jump right into a project. Puzzles in DDO. It's, list, it's intended to be a list of all of the common puzzles that can be found in DDO. For example, um, in Reaver's Fate, there's a puzzle at the end called Mastermind. Um, in the Shroud, part three, there's the Lights Out puzzle. Um, there's a Simon-based Simon puzzle in um, Riding Against the Storm. The goal of this page is to list all of the puzzles and which quests use them. Since there are so many puzzles on DDO Wiki, or in, in DDO, there's no way I can remember all of them. So I figured it would be a good stream project where you guys could help me fill in the list of which quests in the game have puzzles. And I figured the easiest way to do that is to bring up the compendium list. And go through one quest at a time and say, is there a puzzle in here? No. Easy. Move on.
I wonder if the maze tiles actually have a, a puzzle name. Yep, it does. You can see at the bottom of the list there it says Riddles Against the Demon Queen. Also, Litany of the Dead has a riddle. So, let's see here. All right. No riddle. Buy a new weapon. Uh, some of these quests need to be fixed. Um, why does buy a new weapon show up as a raid? Let's fix that one. The Jenna Brothers, no riddle. Hall of Mark is a puzzle, isn't it? Good morning, Young. Raid faults, solo only faults. So I need to have a solo value of zero. Normal. I wonder if this will fix it. Sure, it doesn't break anything. It does, it changes that to zero. I don't like that. That doesn't break anything. I don't know if it'll fix anything, but it doesn't break anything. How does this one do it? Doesn't have those parameters at all. That's a series of questions. It's not really a puzzle, is it? I mean, you have to pick the right answers. Same as the other one. So we'll call it a riddle. That's that's fair. Let's see here, what else do we have? Hayton's Rest. No actual puzzle in there. Necromancer's Doom.
No puzzle. Redemption, no puzzle. Refugees toll, no puzzle. Sacrifices. Stopping stopping the Suwagin has a tile puzzle. Well, we'll list tile puzzles. I guess. Well, there's going to be a lot of quests with tile puzzles. I don't know what they're called. Hey, Pax. Welcome. We'll just call it tile puzzle for now and link the quests. Stuff in this wagon is the second tile puzzle. The first one is the storehouse secret. I don't think there's one in the grotto, is there? Welcome, Adwin. A lot of these quests I don't remember off the top of my head, like the first strike Tangle Root series. I'm not that familiar with them. I don't remember which ones have puzzles and which ones don't, what their names are. Sweet Sewer. Red Fang, does it have a puzzle? Just a bunch of traps and a quest line. Setting the wards. None of the catacombs does. The captive. Uh, waterworks. Is there any puzzles in waterworks? I'm running through the quests in my head quickly, trying to remember if there's any puzzles. Waterworks, waterworks, waterworks. There is a tile puzzle in one of the Waterworks quests. The one where you have to drop down. No, that's, that's not Waterworks, is it? I don't remember what, puzzle, what, what quest that is. Get the one with the the uh, wooden the round wooden door on the floor, and there's four towers and a puzzle you have to solve to open the door. Oh, what quest is that? I know it's low level and full of cobalts, sewer based. Is that part of uh, STK? It's part one in STK, isn't it?
for those that are watching in my channel, feel free to pop into my Discord. Although today I am actually talking in the official DDO stream Discord channel. I can picture it in my head, I just can't remember what the name of the quest is. Depths chain. Is there anything on the depths chain? I don't think so. Clan tunnel worm, West for Doom spawn, Archer point, Brood of flame, Ghost of Chance. Yeah, I don't remember Three Barrel Cove puzzles either. Um, there is one that I know has a puzzle, a tile puzzle. The one where you have to save the guy at the end. Uh, I'll know the name when I see it. Prove your worth has puzzles. And the one up on the other end of the island, too. Um, one that I'm not going to remember the name of. Not Two Toad, although Two Toad does have puzzles. Doesn't it? No, just it's, uh, an order of things. Ghost of a Chance. No, Sacred Helm is the um, is the side quest for SDK. Ghost of a Chance. That one has a puzzle. Tile puzzle. What else do we have? Small problem, party crashers, snitch. Under the, under the big top has puzzles. It has wheel puzzles. Oh, and the other one does too, in that chain. Um, the sailor puzzle. Um, party crashers. Alright, let's see what other puzzles we can find. Mirrors, Purge the Heretics, Red Willows, Dolores Tomb, Ruined Halls, Bloody Crypt, Bounty Hunter, Forgotten Caverns, Iron Mines, it's more Tangled Root, Volocks, Devil's Assault, Chronoscope, Free Dolera, Gwaylins, Gwaylins, Gwaylins. No actual puzzles there, right? No. Old Grey Garl, Taming the Flames, Grave Robber, Tangle Root stuff, um, Restless Isle stuff, Missing Party, The Pit. The Pit actually has a tile puzzle too, doesn't it?
Let's go to the pit real quick. It's got a couple different puzzles in it. I put phase one because I couldn't remember what the name of the room was for the other one. Backup generators. Backup generators of the pit. A lever puzzle? It's not really a puzzle, you just pull a bunch of levers and... or skip it all together. Um, you're talking about reset the power breakers. Tile puzzle is... Main control room of the pit. Oh, the lever puzzle up top. That's um actually the lights out. That's actually lights out. If you look on the wall, there's a three by three lights out tile, and you're doing a lights out puzzle. You were talking about backup generators, not the um, restarting, resetting the power breakers. Build pumps, furnaces, none of those have puzzles. Intake system, just levers and valves. Okay, so we got backup generators and main control room. Those are the puzzles in there. Ooh, security traps. Um, that's still just a wheel puzzle. I should rewrite that section of this page. The room with the big cube and oozes. The big cube and oozes. There's no cube in pit. I know what you're talking about. It's not a cube, like a gelatinous cube. You mean the power, the control room, the control cube. Yeah, got that one. Okay. We're good on that one. Next, let's see here. Scoundrels Run. That that one has puzzles. That one has a, t uh, a, um, has a tile puzzle. To drop a drawbridge. Tier of Dakan. Does Tier have any puzzles? A couple of valves you gotta pull. It's just valves everywhere. Bargain of Blood, Storm the Beaches, Black Lock, Tide Turns, Temple of Elemental Evil. Does that have any actual puzzles? I haven't run it a lot to know. In need of supplies, storm cleave, Stromwald, faithful departed, rescue, temple outpost, Zorian, Zorian cipher, Zorian cipher. Does that one have a puzzle? I want to say it does have a tile puzzle up top. Yes, it does have a it does have a tile puzzle. Brawl of the Necromancer, Shadow Guard, Shadow King. Oh, um, 
that's an eight was a nine the nine is shadow crypt shadow crypt has puzzles I'm gonna put it under random puzzles because I don't know what they're called right now so I'll have to research that one more spies in the house Any puzzles and spies? Puzzles and spies, puzzles and spies. Get yeah, some wheels that you have to turn to blow some jets. Not really a combination to them. It's supposed to be set to the right setting. Like in the pit, security room. Um. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Nope, not really. Okay. The Rask Arena. No puzzle there. The Prisoner. There's a maze. There's a maze you have to run through. I'll count that as a puzzle. You have to be the rat in a minute to get through it. No other puzzles in there. I have only done like slave pits and slavers and whatnot like twice, so I don't know if there's any puzzles in there. I don't expect there would be. Gateway to Kyber, nothing. Church of the Cult, nothing. Threnel, nothing. Haywire's Foundry. I would expect there to be puzzles in there. Von 4. It's in Von 4. It has a wheel puzzle. It is, it is, it is a puzzle. But if I do that, then I gotta add the wheel puzzle for... There is a puzzle in Slave Lords Part 2. Um, alright. Um, salt. On the area of the Slade Lords. Um, why isn't this split into part one and part two? Why is Automod holding that message? No reason Automod should have held that message. What kind of puzzle? Slave, slaver Stockade? Oh, so that's part two? Okay. I get tied up with Automod. For one of the chests, okay. Secret doors, tips and misks.
I'm not seeing any information at all about slave pits of the Undercity. Any traps? Tile puzzle. So it's a tile puzzle. There it is. Forsaken Temple. That's in part one. Slave Pits of the Undercity. I think that's part one, right? All right, what else do we have? Enter in the gate chamber. Gateway to Kyber. That's Vaughn 3. Vaughn 3, Vaughn 3, Vaughn 3, Vaughn 3. No puzzles, no puzzles, no puzzles, no puzzles. Mm. Just some runes you have to find. No actual puzzles. Nope, no puzzles. Okay. The last stand, no Clarval Core, not really. Haywire, um, wheel puzzle. Do I want to do wheel puzzles? I do that, then I have to do Vaughn 5. Ooh, Vaughn 5 has a tile puzzle, too. Is there a room name for that? I haven't gotten up there yet. Vault of Night. I can never remember if it's the Vault or the... It's gotta be the Vault of Night. The Plane of Night has to be where she is. So let's hit this one. Vault of Night... Uh... So it's considered the East Rune Puzzle. Also got a Wheel Puzzle, yeah. They call it a rune puzzle.
Alright, time for me to do a quick bot restart. That'll run on its own in the background. All right, so. Oh, wheel puzzles in the south or in the north? North, right? Yes, wheel puzzles in the north. I don't know what that's having an issue with. I really do need to get that off this machine. Let me check Discord and see what's happening there. So all the bots are online. I think PM2 is, is, is busted. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. There we go. Now I got it going again.
There. That should be good again for a little while. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Haywire, why do I have that highlighted? Wheel puzzle, okay. I'm gonna put random puzzles at the bottom. Okay, what are the wheel puzzles are in the game? Yeah. Good morning, Titan. All right, let's see here. Slavers, Tempest, Temp ooh, Tempest Spine. Tempest Spine, Tempest Spine, Tempest Spine. It's got a puzzle. Got a tile puzzle up top. I have no idea, Titan. Just something I use. Something for people to do. Part of Twitch now. All right, what other puzzles do we have? Of night, invitation into black and blue, death house, fresh big dreams, into the mist, newcomers, dead shall rise, desert caravan, dreams of insanity. Made to order, made to order, made to order, made to order, made to order. Like the crests. Oh, that's not really a puzzle. Maraud the mines. Birds have fallen. Twilight, Twilight, Twilight for Ooh. Twilight Forge. There's lots of puzzles in there. What kind of puzzles are in there? We have an underwater maze. We have. A complex tile puzzle where you have to like go from room to room to room to room to room. And D-door and all that good stuff. Or have multiple people. So it's got a tile puzzle, an underwater puzzle, underwater maze. Got a maze and a tile puzzle, that's it. And which is which? Green is tile, right? Underwater is... Red. Okay, so... Tile puzzle is green. And then the maze is the red path of tombs, 
Tomb of the Tormented has a rat maze that you can actually go into as a, for an optional. OOB. Oath of Vengeance. Relic. Relic. Diplomatic Impunity. Eyes of Stone. Framework. Vaders. Curse Crypt. Curse Crypt. Falling Floors, Levers. No, not really. Titan Awakes. Against the Demon Queen. We already got that one. It's got a riddle. All the ADQ has. Chains of Flame. Wiz King. Wiz King is a maze, kind of. No, not really. It's pretty linear. It's got three towers, that are, but it's pretty linear. Bobby's mirrored and Cobalt Siege Breaker Undermine. Cry for help. Cry for cry for help. Feast or famine. Foundation maze of madness. Mom is a maze. Human Soul Archon's Trial. Trial puzzles in the intelligence test. Devil's Details, Memoirs, Cabal, 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 Cabal. Um, Puzzle, Temple of All, no actual puzzle, Flesh Makers, no actual puzzle, Ghosts, Tor, Tor. No actual puzzle in Tor. Not anymore. Yeah, never was really. Inferno. Inferno was a maze. Inferno is considered a maze with the portals. Madstone, Pop, Reaver's Fate, we already have, Crucible, Crucible has a maze, An Underwater Swim, it's got Evasion, Wisdom tests. That's the only build puzzle in there is, is the maze. Tower of Frost has a tile puzzle to. Morning, Morning Titan. Tower, pu Tower of Frost has a puzzle tile to unlock the um, elevator. Why do people keep leaving this DDO stream server? It's pretty dead in here. Nobody else uses it, except me. If more people used it, more people would hang out. Ah, uh, Grim and Barrett. Multi yeah, they're all going to the community one. Yeah. 
I won't go there. Uh, multitude of menace, subversion, subversion. It's got a maze in it. Regular maze. I'm going to break this up a little differently. Easier to read that way. Okay. Tavern Brawl, Acid Wit, Delirium, Lashar, Escape Plan, Fear Factory, In the, Fle In the Flesh. I think that has a, uh, a tile puzzle, doesn't it? The one where you have to free um, the holder. Oh no, it's got the wheel puzzle though. That's the one with the wheel puzzle, okay. Good day, Todd. Can't type in my channel. Are you doing a giveaway at the end of the stream? Um, wasn't planning on it, and there hasn't been enough viewers to justify it. I think six is the highest I've seen it get to. Sinister storage is that the one with the puzzle? I see you have seven right now. Yep. Missing Fear Factory. Was it Fear Factory? What is it? Not missing. Not Fear Factory. Not in the flesh. Sinister storage. Gotta be. It's the only one left. No. Nope. 
crud, I don't remember. Maybe it's a different level, maybe it's not a 15. I don't know. Creeping Death has a tile puzzle. Cold Chamber is a maze. And again, I guess technically the pit's a maze too if I go with that classification. Maybe it's not a maze. Nope. Okay. Orange Shadow, Friends in Love Places, Thrill of the Hunt, Acute Delirium. UTK we already got, Monastery we got, Prey on the Hunter. Prey on the Hunter has a maze. Has the ice maze. With random patterns to it. Stealer of Souls. Another pop based thing. Uh, Lord of Eyes, Lord of Stones, San Asylum, Shroud, Outbreak, Overgrowth, Druid's Curse, Thunder Pot. Abbott. Abbott has puzzles. I'm going to throw it in random puzzles because I don't know what the puzzles are called or what to call the puzzles at this time. Good intentions, VOD, Dream Conspiracy, Dream Conspiracy has a puzzle, no, Finding the Path has a puzzle, one of these two has a puzzle, I don't remember which, find out real quick. Tempest Spine has a puzzle. Yep, we already established that one. Why is X split so spread out? Oh, it's fighting with that. Path of Inspiration. Is this the one? Yes. Okay, so that is the one that I was thinking of. Dream Conspiracy. It has a tile puzzle.
Nine in the path. Fox. Game of cheats. Demon's Den. Mind Sunder. Rex Spy. Stay at the end. Detour. Lost in the swamp. Rest of Fish Man is Delirium. A new vision. Bastion of Power. There are some puzzles in here, but I don't know what they are. I have the Titan. This is Point. Mining version Secret. Rented by Night. Power Play. A lot of these I don't know off the top of my head. Can't remember them. I've run them a dozen times and I still can't remember them. The Riddle. Sins. Weapon Shipment. Wrath of Flame. Master Artificer, Breaking the Ice, Breaking the Rank, Lines of Supply, Tracker's Trap, What Goes Up, Dreaming Dark, Tower of Despair, Lord of Blades. Uh, why is Quest Test Cases in here? Impossible demands, battle for evening star, lost red, don't drink the water belly of the beasts. Precious cargo, fall of truth. Haunted halls, haunted halls. Can't think of any real puzzles in there. Nope, yes there is, there's some tile puzzles in there. I usually just skip them. Epics, Defiler, Temple of the Death Worm. It's the riddle, right? Now, oh well, I guess it's got red light, green light. Got a bunch of puzzles. I got the riddle in there. We'll add it to random puzzles to remind me to go back later and make sure I add the rest of the puzzles. Mark of Death. That has. I'm going to put it as random puzzles for now. I know it's got a maze to it and. I don't remember everything. Legendary Tempest Spine. That's the same as regular Tempest Spine. Where did I put Tempest Spine? Tile maze puzzle, where is it? Ah, here it is. All right. Alrighty. Puzzles, riddles, wheel puzzles, mazes, tile maze puzzles, random puzzles. Oh. It's totally... By doing that, it totally nerfed the, um, the formatting. Let's fix the formatting real quick. Indentations. Okay, so I got puzzles. We got those are alright, but... These all need to be.
Good. Fixed. All right. That's a huge improvement on that page. We um, more than doubled the size of the page, I believe. Yep, more than doubled. Went from 973 to 2102, or 2064. So this would be a good opportunity to do a, a bio break real quick. Actually, it's just about time for me to put my Christmas hat on. That'll be next stream. I'll have my Christmas hat on. All right, let's refill the coffee. I'd prefer hot cocoa. Cock. Hot cocoa? Why would you want that? Oh, the cookie tin is empty. So if I if I get into this job, um, it's ten to fifteen an hour. So I could get enough money to um, travel out of the state by myself. You could do geocaching. What's that? What's that? It's like treasure hunting. Scavenger hunts. Everywhere. There's all kinds of things hidden that you don't know about. Bitcoins? Um, probably not digital currency. Considering digital currency is kind of like digital. <laughs> All right, got a coffee refill. Let's see here, what else can we do today? Oh, well, let's go through the recent change list. Uh, 
looks like our last week's edits right about here. T Compendium Phantom. I don't remember what I was doing there. A little bit of a discussion here. No idea what that is. T acronym. Created for a discussion in Template Talk Quest. Guess we could talk about that. What's in there? And what was on Discord? So in the administrator's notice board of Discord. Crew 121 said that um, he wanted to make template quote collapsible. And he wanted to make it collapse by default in the process to replace nested tables with a single table, making the template code easier to understand. At least he thought so. Why does the wiki have quotes anyway? They are useless. Don't think somebody ever read them. Um, that means... So... Solar power is probably in favor of hiding them. Wouldn't it be easier to delete them altogether? It smells like a lot of work editing a lot of articles. I have no issue with allowing them to be collapsed, but they should be uncollapsed by default unless a different consensus is reached from the English Wikipedia... Manual style don't hide, which basically says do not collapse content um, by default. Um, basically, people do read them. Um, mostly their snippets. Um, mostly quotes. On DDO Wiki are dev quotes about a feature or bug. Lots of people read them. Um, Most of them were put on pages to resolve disputes about if this or that is working as intended. Um, so, there's that. Um, tech chat, anything happened this week in tech chat? Um, nothing since the last one we did here and Village Pump. Um, I posted the um, the weekly specials, which you can get by doing bang specials in the DDO Wiki or the DDO Stream chat channels, 
or in the uh, Dungeons and Dragons online channel of my server. Cobalt Worker will post a link to the Chronicle and tell you what is currently DDO Bonus Days brings you free sample of the week and um, whatever the specials are, are the sales. Um, get some stuff going there. Nothing new on the forums. Um, I do have to still work on updating some of my shoe cobble stuff. Kind of would like to get back into doing that shoe cobble series. Uh, um, homepage, special pages doesn't have anything special. There's some things that need. Ooh, one of categories is up to 19 again. I'll take a look at that, I guess. Uh, recent changes. Want to change? One in categories. Let's see here. So this should be deception items. This should be deception items. This should be deception items. Let's hit those. I should run through with the bot and update these again sometime to make them all consistent. Um, I could do clubs, level 29. Other than that, there's really not much I can do right now. I'd have to look up a lot of what things are. Let's look at level 20 clubs. I think it's just category clubs. Ah, named weapons by type. No picture available. Okay. Oh, I just dumped that. Okay. And out of the background color. That's right. That's what I was doing with that. Hmm. I'll do some more on that later. 25 minutes left of the stream. Item verse not. Hey Shu, I noticed you moved Elemental Spiral to Item Elemental Spiral, and while I was editing Locus of All to know that it was no longer used as a Kenneth crafting ingredient, I also noticed that Kenneth Essence did not exist while Item Kenneth, F Kenneth Essence did. But both Lodestone and Intact Spore Pod would go to Item Foo and. then immediately redirect to just Foo. Help me out here. 
when is an item an item and when is it not? I'm not seeing a consistent use and the redirection from item foo to just foo seems to be in place for some things but not others. I mean, intact spore pod is an item, is it not? And my response for that is anything using template named item should always be in the item namespace. As far as ingredients and collectibles go, there hasn't been a real consensus reached on the topic. There are many editors who do not consider them an item per se as they go into a bag. I'm personally of the belief that anything that can go into an inventory slot should be an item page. However, due to lack of consensus, I'm not willing to move baggables to item most of the time unless I'm doing a bunch of other work to the page at the same time. So if you're working on intact spore pod and you want to move it to item, move it to item. Um, if you're working on lodestone and you want to move it to item, move it to item. If you're working on item Caneth Essence and you want to move it to Caneth Essence, it'll get moved back. Um, so as long as you're moving items to item, it's good. If you're moving it out of item when it was an item, then it will probably get moved back. Um, I'm just not going to go through and mass move everything. Uh, moving is a lot of work. And it's not something I can do with auto... Um, wiki bot, so I'd have to write a, spe a special bot for the purpose, which I haven't done yet. So, yeah, unless I'm working on it, I will if they're a baggable. Um, however, if it's something using template named item, it will get moved. I hope that clears up any questions on that topic. What the heck is filigree sentient weapons? Oh, effects. So the name of the effect, what it gives you, additional possible effect, set bonus, if you get all of them. Or multiple pieces. Spines of the Manticore. Oh, this was on Lamania, wasn't it? I, did, I didn't get to Lamania this time, because I wasn't home. So I didn't get to check out Sentient Weapons. There, do a third degree view, though. Really? Four piece set, immune to slippery surface, five pieces immune to knockdown? Why not just, you know, freedom movement? Energy drain immunity. The one we're willing to give out, not the one that's too powerful? Really? Hmm. What's the difference? I didn't realize there were two energy drain immunities. Or is that comment about death block? I could see myself going for the Vigilance set, and maybe Trapper's Delight set. I'm gonna go for the Snake Bite set. That's okay, I suppose. Although I don't use poison attacks, there's not a lot of things that do poison. So... Proof against poison 4 isn't a whole heck of a lot.
I guess 3d6 poison damage that scales with melee or range power isn't bad, except that a lot of things are immune to poison damage. I learned that from the quiver that you get from um, Nighthold. I see a immune a lot next to the Pentagon. Or yellow numbers at best. Now, on my Barbarian, the Blood Feast would be very interesting. Strength, Dex, Con, PRR, Healing Amp, Melee Power, MRR. 100 temporary hit points on a Vorpal on a 20 roll. More Melee Power, more Con. That's not bad. Although I thought the whole idea was that they were supposed to scale up, so I don't know why it's labeled on the wiki as plus ones and plus threes and whatnot. I, I was under the impression that they scaled as you leveled them up. Or is it just you, another craftable that you can put more items on? I don't know. I'm guessing Lamania is not open right now. Only named weapons, minimum, minimum level 21 or higher, can, can gain sentience. Okay. Crafted upgradable weapons are out. T Temple of Elemental Evil, Green Steel, Thunder Forged. Okay. Sentient weapons cannot be placed in your offhand slot. Hmm. Well, that eliminates like more than half of the we weapons in, in the game. Anything with a crafting slot in it. So anything with an augment slot, done. Why is that nerfing out? Ah, the PM2 crashed on me. I only have issues with the bots when I'm actually um, streaming. All right, let's see here. Jewels are bound to account on acquire. Essences that carry the sentience. Slot the jewel in a weapon to awaken its sentience. You can also pry out the jewel out of an existing weapon. Oh, that's not worded very well. Um, and transfer to a different weapon. Slotting a sentient jewel to a weapon does not change the weapon's binding status or minimum level. Players can build sentient XP by feeding named items to their sentient jewel. You do this by dragging the item to the appropriate slot in the sentient item panel. Each named item will add a number of sentient XP to the jewel. The actual numbers are as follows. So start saving your trash named items. Minimum level times 1, minimum level times 5, minimum level times 10. Cost to open slots are as follow. You can have up to seven slots. First slot is free. I don't know what this division thing is all about. 2,000, 6,000, 12,000, 20,000, 40,000, 60,000.
78 items at top level to reach. Ah, okay, so that's... I think that's useless information. All sentient XP you have gained stays with the sentient jewel when you unslot it, and it is applied to a new weapon when you slot that jewel into it. Okay. I go into an augment bag. Well, so our named item pages just became a lot more useful on the wiki. Uh, we should take a look and see what kind of state they're in. Let's see here. Named weapons. Burp. Excuse me. Uh, We had an items listing page. Do rune arms count as weapons? Although most of them are craftable. This page is all manually created, isn't it?
I'm actually surprised it's not exceeding the um, transclusion size. Ah, okay, so um, way back in June, uh, Lord Silverhand asked about getting the heroic 10% bonus stuff reworked. Um, they don't like this whole thing. Um, and they they were saying that they didn't think that we needed the distinction between heroic and epic. They don't need the words heroic or epic to be there, just optional 20% bonus. Um, and in October I said I'd look at it, and I finally looked at it last week, and I don't really understand the request. The Input is op percent number equals, which is the same for both heroic and epic. The reason both texts are there is because the base XP for heroic and epic is different, not the percent. Thinking it should read something like XP, heroic, epic. Doesn't need to have a percent or even be percent heroic epic. Um, Or even do symbols. I'm okay with symbols. All right, so where were we? Aimed item. So let me take a look at this. All right, so that's all like that. That's what I figured. So it's actually manually created instead of via DPL. Um, let's collapse that for a second. Let's look at the parser profiling data. Um, template include argument size. Wow, that's really low. Post expand include size three, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's pushing the limit there. I'm only five hundred thousand away, about five hundred thousand away. And about six hundred thousand away. We got seven minutes. There are no light exotic weapons. Interesting.
Wait, why did I just go offline? What's up with that? Oh, okay, that's weird. It showed me as offline on Twitch, but I'm not offline. Okay, whatever. I got three more minutes, man. All right, so I was going to go right here, and I was going to go... If equal IO collapse zero one MW collapsed. I was going to make it so that I can pass a parameter to the template that will allow me to collapse it. All right, so let's make sure it's not collapsed by default. That's right, I can kill it for a couple minutes. It's messing me up. This might take a minute. Good morning, Samius. Just about to wrap up. Okay, so it's not collapsed by default. Include only collapse equals true or one. Yeah, we'll do it true. Okay, so now if I go here, and I go down here, and I take bastard swords, and I delete all this, and I go Bastard swords, if I go like this. Let's hit a show preview here. Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Come on, give me the show preview. No results. Why is there no results?
Probably that. Gotta force the category. Now if I go back here, scroll to the bottom, and I do a show preview, it should work. Editing the wiki. And expand. Nice. That works wonderfully. does exactly what I told it to do. However, it's not exactly what I want it to do. I'm thinking that I want it to collapse based on the header. So, if I want it to collapse based on the header, I'll no longer need the TOC. It would be like that. Good morning, CSI. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. Exactly. They will do what you tell them. I thought it was what I wanted, but it wasn't really. Okay, so that's kind of what I want. Although I won't want this collapsed anymore. And it does mess with the other table, apparently. Oh, that's because of that. Okay. So what if I do style equals width 100%? Does that fix it up?
Although for some reason that makes it shrink. And that's still out of the table some, for some reason. Although I don't know where it comes from. Um, not very long. Now I'm going to have to me mess with the formatting on this. I want to do it like that. So we'll just go with what we have for now. I'm going to save that. I'm going to s let people take a look at it and see if I can get a consensus on if we want to change everything to that or if we want to try to do something else. Um, a page with outdated information is useless, so we need to update this table somehow. It's going to become very desired um, with new sentient weapons coming out to be able to find... Um, name items that you can use, things that aren't craftable. Um, so we'll go with that for now. Okay, searchable is out of date. Um, and that's going to wrap it up for the stream. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, uh, next... Monday the 4th, Monday, December 4th, coming up, I'm planning on doing a, an Extra Life fundraiser. Um, please tune in for that. Um, my Movember fundraiser yesterday didn't do very well. Um, if you're interested in doing Movember, donating to that cause. My page for that is listed in my my channel here and let me copy it to the DDO stream channel there you go um, if you wish to donate to my Movember cause if you wish to donate to Extra Life uh, I don't remember what the command for that was it's probably disabled anyway it's um Extra Life slash Shoemaker, or whatever it is. Um, I'll have to look it up. Shoemaker? Something like that? No? Alright. Let me see if I can find it. Extra life. There it is. Shoemaker. There it is right there. So if you want to donate to my extra life page, that there's that. And haven't pulled in anything for that yet. My my goal is gonna be two hundred and fifty. For the kids, I'll be doing that on December 4th, and we will be on for DDO Wiki Talk on the 5th. Have a great week, everybody. Is that when Ravenloft releases? Maybe. Get the splash screen up. There we go.